Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. So it's Patrick's 10th what? birthday. He's turned 10. And for this year's birthday, we have gifted him a very, very special experience. See? On your 10th birthday, race over to, with this VIP pass, race over to the Dubai Kart Drones. Are you ready to go karting? Yeah. Yes? Yeah? yeah? Ready? Yes. Yes, ready. So, we'll see you there. After a slightly long drive, we arrived at Motor City and followed the instructions to Dubai Kart Drone. Once we were there, we were very happy to see that there was a huge parking area which was absolutely free for Kart Drone visitors. Now, I have to say it's really amazing when you can find plenty of free parking here in Dubai. We proceeded to the reception where we were greeted by some very friendly staff who directed us to check Patrick's height before he could go racing and he was very relieved that he had crossed the minimum 125 centimeters required so do keep in mind if you want to take your children go-karting here in Dubai Cardroom they have to be a minimum of 125 centimeters once he cleared the minimum height requirement we were then told to register him in we had to fill in some online details along with his Emirates ID details and give the consent for racing. The facilities at Cardrome are pretty good and they also include lockers to store your valuables. If your child is an avid racer like mine, then there are plenty of options wherein they can join up for various racing programs as well as have their birthday parties over there. We then proceeded to collect the racing gear and they do have suits and helmets for various sizes so do try to choose one which is appropriate for your child based on their height or weight once we got the correct suit and helmet we then proceeded to the dressing zone dada and patrick went in and once patrick was completely suited up from head to toe we then had to proceed to the mandatory safety orientation area. This took about 10 to 15 minutes of our time and I have to say that it was a very thorough safety demonstration wherein we were told the details of how the children have to do the karting, what are the rules, what they should do, what they should not do. Although it could be a little intimidating, I think it was very necessary that they had such a safety orientation for racers. Once the safety session was over, it was time to go racing and Patrick was super excited. The trainer there told us that since Patrick was the youngest racer there that day, he would be allowed to race separately and not with the other older children and older adults. And this was, I must say, of great relief to me especially. The trainer helped fix his helmet and suited him up, made sure everything was okay and they did all the safety checks. So once all that was done, it was time for him to go and cut off into the track and we were guided towards the upper viewing area. For me personally, it was a great relief to see that the marshal was with him for the initial couple of rounds. So he was going along with him, showing him the ropes, showing him what to do. And then once he was off, then Patrick was on his own. The track is indoor with a lot of air conditioning, although it could get pretty hot. Since we went in the peak of summer, I have to say that it was pretty hot, although they do have huge fans inside. The heat, however, did not deter Patrick and he enjoyed cruising around the track. He was taking his own sweet time to learn the ropes of racing, to have fun, to have the experience, to feel like a real racer for a day. With each lap, I could see that his speed was increasing and he was pretending that he was a real Formula 1 racer. I do believe he was going a lot faster in his head than he actually was on the racing track. But he enjoyed and he had fun and it was a completely different feeling for him. After about 9 laps, the time was up and the marshal reminded him that the time was over by waving the flag and guided him towards the exit area. We went back and welcomed him as he came back and he told us that he had an amazing time 
there were a lot of grown up racers waiting for their turn and they were very supportive and encouraged him on the whole it was a wonderful experience for him and i have to say that he enjoyed so much that he later told us it was the best birthday gift he had ever received the card room is a fantastic place to take your little ones if they want to experience what it is to be a racer because they actually everything from the suiting up to wearing the helmet to the actual controls the uh, track everything mimics a real race track for 15 minutes of racing we had to pay about 115 dirhams so patrick is done with his go karting and tell us how was your experience very good did you feel like a real racer maybe yeah maybe and how much did you enjoy it 10 did you have a fun so was it a wonderful birthday yeah yeah and you had fun okay so everyone thank you for watching until our next video take care and happy, happy birthday